What's up, everybody? Today, I want to share with you why I love Kyber. And you may have heard about this token recently since they've just got listed on many exchanges about a week ago. And there's been a lot of buzz surrounding this token. One of the main reasons is because Vitalik Buterin is an official advisor for this project. Vitalik is one of the founders of Ethereum. And he said in a tweet a while back that he was no longer going to be an advisor for any more ICO projects except Omise Go and Kyber. Here you see him wearing a Kyber Network t-shirt at a blockchain conference. Pretty cool, huh? So what is Kyber Network? It is a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange. So it's an exchange like Coinbase or Bittrex, but it's decentralized. So it has a lot of cool features. One, it's trustless because everything is handled by smart contracts. So you never really need to deposit your funds on their platform or anything. Secondly, it provides instant trades. It has high liquidity and all transactions are done on the Ethereum blockchain. Another really important thing that they're offering is payment APIs for merchants. So merchants who want to accept crypto payments can receive payments in other coins and get it in their coin of their choice. Some common use cases. Of course, you can exchange tokens like any crypto exchange out there, but you can also pay others with your own token. You can receive various crypto payments in Ethereum, and also you can hedge against price fluctuations in cryptocurrency using some of the more advanced financial instruments that they're offering. So Kyber is built on a reserve system that's quite interesting. So you have your user and their wallet that wants to exchange tokens, right? You send in token A to the contract and receive token B. But how it works behind the scenes is you have a reserve where you credit token A and debit token B. And this reserve is created by contributors, like people who want to contribute tokens. And why would they do that? It's because they get profits from it. So rather than just having your crypto assets sit idle, you can make profits from it. And reserve managers are the ones that feed exchange rates into the Kyber contract. And the difference between the bid and ask prices is how they would gain a small profit from each trade. This is called the spread. You also have a Kyber network operator whose job is to list and delist tokens and reserves. So the Kyber network crystal is what you would buy to be able to work with the platform if you're a reserve manager, but also partners that introduce trades to the Kyber network also get paid and incentivized in KNC. Finally, KNC tokens are also collected and part of it will go to operational fees, part of it will go to paying partners, but then the rest will be burned. So this is a built-in way that guarantees token appreciation. A lot of ICOs I have complaints about with how they structured their token sale, but Kyber's was really seamless because they had a very active community on Slack and Telegram with constant updates by the founding team. They also had a really seamless whitelist process. For Slack, all you had to do was be on Slack before a cutoff date, and for Telegram, all you had to do was fill out a form. Their Know Your Customer process is also really quick and transparent. You sent in a document with a photo ID and also your Ethereum wallet address, and they approved you or denied you in like less than 24 hours, if I remember correctly. They also were very security-minded. So a lot of ICO projects have their websites hacked and their contract addresses changed to the hacker's personal address. So what they did was they made a YouTube video where they wrote their contract address out by hand on the whiteboard behind them. So that's almost impossible to spoof in a reasonable amount of time because you have to like Photoshop in the video and they only released a video very close to when the start date was. Finally, they have an individual cap for 24 hours. That means everyone who got whitelisted who wanted to buy some KNC tokens had a chance to. Their team is composed of a lot of veterans in the blockchain and cryptocurrency space. Lloyd Liu is the CEO, and they have their public profiles on LinkedIn and information on their website. You can go take a look if you're curious. They also have a couple other competitors in the crypto space. One is Zero X, another one is Bancor. Both have products out before Kyber, and you can go take a look at them on their own websites as to the differences and the pros and cons between their approach compared to Kyber. In terms of a roadmap, Kyber is launching a testnet on August 2017 that's already passed. They have their demo live. You can check out their exchange features on their website. Also, most of their work is going to be done in 2018. They're going to launch on the main net, support trading between tokens and Ethereum, and then arbitrate token peers 
and finally add those more advanced financial instruments near the end of 2018, and also support cross-chain trading like between Bitcoin and Ethereum chains in early 2019. So is this going to be the next Omise Go? Omise Go was huge because in July 14th, it was listed on exchanges and trading started at roughly 50 cents. Now it's at $9 with a market cap of roughly 900 million. That's a massive 18x gain. Kyber got listed on September 24th at roughly $1.80. It's about the same price right now with a market cap of roughly 230 million. So there's less room for growth for Kyber currently because to get to Omise Go's market cap, it's only going to be a 4x gain from initial trading price. That being said, Kyber is still very early, and as the whole crypto market rises, so will Kyber in my opinion. Um, once again, you should definitely do your own research and take everything I say with a grain of salt. And everything I say does not imply a recommendation to buy or sell various coins. I just want to share with you my love for Kyber and my wish that it will go to the moon. Thank you, everybody. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. I hope you liked this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next one.